Do you want to know five simple effects that will make your videos look so much better? It looks cinematic, more professional. Yes. All right, let's roll the intro. Oh wait, I don't have an intro. All right, let's do the finger thing. Hi everyone, my name is Lilan. If this is your first time here, so lovely to meet you. Today, I wanna to share with you five effects that will make your videos look a lot better. And I think we're always looking for that thing or that effect or that method or that technique or I don't know, I can go on forever. <laughs> to make your videos look cinematic, look more professional. Ah, isn't that what we all want? Isn't that the dream? Sometimes after filming or vlogging all day or all weekend or all of your vacation, you come home, you dump the footage on your PC or Mac, you go through your footage and you're like, Sh that looks super boring. That is why editing is so magical and so much fun because you craft your video in post, in the editing process. Now sure, there's things that you can and you should do when you're filming, but you can do a lot in posts. And sometimes a little bit comes a very long way, such as creating some fake camera movements. And this is actually my first tip. My first tip is to move your camera around because moving your camera around and creating some motion and some movement will actually help make your video look so much more interesting. And I actually shot two videos. One is all static shots and one is with some movements so that you can see the difference between the two and understand what I'm saying. The first video, it looks okay, but I think we're in that stage of our relationship where we can be honest to each other. And I mean, I was done after five seconds. <laughs> now the second video is way more interesting to watch because there's more happening and the camera is moving. But I understand if you're like me and you don't have a dope squad around you, you don't have friends who are into filmmaking, and you film most of the stuff by yourself and you film yourself by yourself, you end up with a lot of static shots. Or of course, what can also happen, and don't worry, it happens to everyone, is when you're filming so much and you end up with a lot of static shots. But don't worry, because we can fix this in post by creating some fake camera movements. And there's a very easy way of doing this, and this is by creating keyframes. Now, if we want to create a keyframe, all we have to do first is drop that clip on the timeline and then open up the effects control panel. Click on the little stopwatch in front of skill and position to create your first keyframes. As you can see, the little stopwatch now turned blue, which means that you've enabled keyframes. Now you want to move forward, maybe to the end of the clip, and you want to create new keyframes by changing the values of the skill and position. This is how you can create a very subtle pan or a very subtle zoom that will add a lot to your video. Now my second effect is one that will work best if you've planned this beforehand because we're talking about slow motion, slow motion. Slow motion. I love slow motion. I don't know if you can tell, but I love slow motion. I overuse it. And I'm not telling you to go crazy and overuse it as well because there is definitely a time and place for slow motion. But slow motion is just, especially when you're doing B-roll, it's, mm, it's so good. I don't think that there is anything that I love more than slow motion. Of course, yeah, I love my cats, I love tacos, but slow motion, mm, slow motion of tacos. What is your favorite food? Let me know in the comments. I mean, it is totally unrelated to this video, but let's talk about things that make us happy as well. So share with me your favorite food in the comments, minus tacos or Mexican food in general, tacos. I had the best tacos in LA. Not the point of this video. Slow motion is the point of the video. Again, I just want to be clear. I don't want you to start filming everything in slow motion now. The first step in order to create slow motion is to actually film in a higher frames per second. Then if you want to slow that clip down, put it on your timeline, hit Control R or Command R on your timeline and lower the percentage. So for example, how this works is if we're, because of math, 
Let's make it very easy. If you have a 25 frames per second timeline and you have a video that you shot in 50 frames per second, you can slow it down to 50%. If you're going to slow it down even more, you will see that it will look a little bit jittery because there is not enough information for Premiere Pro to slow it down and make it look smooth. Talking about jittery footage, we love smooth footage. Smooth footage will make your video look more professional, more cinematic, and that is what gimbals are for. But my tip is not to go and buy a gimbal, but my tip is to use warp stabilizer. Now, yes, yes, warp stabilizer is not a magic effect that will change everything. If you have heavy camera shakes, it's gonna look like, like jello. It's not gonna look good, but if you have very subtle shakes, or for example, if you slow down your footage, but there is still a little bit of shakiness, that is when Warp Stabilizer is your friend. And in order to use Warp Stabilizer, go to the effects panel, for me it's right here, type in Warp, and then drag that effect to the clip. Now, if you've already slowed down your video, you will get an error. You get this red bar that will say, no, you cannot do this. But there's a very easy workaround and that workaround is by nesting the clip that you slow down. So if you wanna nest your clip, all you have to do is click on that clip that you slow down, right click it and then hit nest. And then you can either just save it with the default name or you can type a name for however you wanna call it. Now you've nested it and what you see is now it turned green. If you now apply the warp stabilizer to it, you're good to go. What is another great way to make your videos look more cinematic? Color grading. Color grading enhances the video, it makes it look better and it helps you tell a story well. Now you can color grade your footage by using the Lumetri effect by typing it in or go to the color workspace. Of course, if you don't want to, you don't have to color grade or if you don't want to, you don't have to color grade manually. You can also get some LUTs or buy some good LUTs like the famous teal and orange look and make your videos look better that way and super fast. So we've talked about a lot, but I feel like we're forgetting something. We've talked about creating motion in your videos. We've talked about smooth footage. We've talked about color grading, um, transitions. Transitions make your video look visually pleasing and just it's it feels better because hard cuts, they're just so, my hand hurts. We kind of want smooth. We want smooth. We want everything. We want our footage to look smooth. We want our entire video to look smooth. And no, I'm not telling you to use a transition between every clip because that can be a little bit much, but it is good if you find that balance between using transitions and the hard cuts. You can add something like a wipe or a cross dissolve, but if you really wanna step it up, you can make your own transitions. You can make your own in-camera transitions or in post. And since we're talking about editing, one of my favorite transitions that I like to make is the mask transition. Now you can easily do this by using an object and using that as your transition. It looks so good. And if you wanna learn how to do that, I made a video about it where I show you how to do that step by step. So go check that out. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell in case you wanna be notified. And so we can see each other in the next video.